Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, I was asked last week by someone who's considering buying a new EV6 about what's the state of Tesla charging on the route planner. And I explained that they aren't actually still in the route planner even after the August 2024 update. But with the deal that's been done in America, I think it's likely that they will appear in the future. But then I explained how you work around this. Basically, you've got to find the Tesla chargers in the app and then set the nearest DC charge that's in the Kia system so you can force the car to fast charge. Since then, I'm going to fully charge this Friday and I've gone to try and set the new Ionity charges at Fleet in Hampshire, which is like four miles from Farnborough as my destination. And there's no data. So if I go into maps, we're pressing the nav button and I search for RNC chargers. That's the charger. Currently, I've got enough range to do that. The route guidance will start now. In 210 yards, turn right onto Shaw Lane. But if you actually go into the split screen charger, and search near destination, you'll see that it's not listed in the available charges that have got data, so you can't precondition on it. So what you've got to do is find one that's close by, and the closest one by is on the same site, which is Instable. So you've got to construct a route that involves the fully charged postcode, which is GU1460TQ, and Instavolt, and and the ion charger, or just Instavolt in this case. Press nav, previous destination, aerospace boulevard, set as destination. You can add a tool point before, when it's finished uh, doing the route plan. So there, I'll do that, I'll do add, I'll do previous destinations where I've got Instavolt and Ionity, so I'll do Ionity as the next one. OK. And then I'll do previous destinations, Instavolt. They're on the same site, so you could just do the one. But just for completeness, I'll do this. So that should start the battery preconditioning when I get to that destination, Ionity. Because it's not showing any data on the maps yet. And that's also how you would cope with a Tesla not being in the database. You'd navigate to the postcode where it was and find the nearest hopefully close DC fast charger. And that's the workaround for now. Um, unless someone knows any other clever method to get the preconditioning to work. The only downside to doing it this way is that the Instabolt on the same site is currently busy, so that doesn't show in the destination list of chargers in the charger split screen. So if they're both busy, the car might not battery precondition. So that's why you still need a manual battery button, which we've been asking for for a long time. So um, on Friday, it's just part luck as to whether this will precondition or not. So uh, the only way I, I guess I can, can do is, is um, check the charges around it to see if any of those are free. Um, maybe ones that have got more than just two uh, points and change the route as I go to force it to precondition. But come Friday, I will see what happens. Yeah. I did read a post from someone a while back who said if you put a, a waypoint in as a destination, it, it'll trigger the battery heater. But it doesn't. I've tried it. So anybody's got any idea how to short circuit that or make it easier, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.